So let's do a basic example of uh, counting that uh, illustrates the use of these new generalized rules of uh, the division rule and the generalized product rule. Uh, and let's count some particular kind of poker hands called a two-pair. So poker is a game where each player is dealt five cards from a, a, a deck of 52 cards. And the definition of a two-pair hand is that uh, there are two cards of some rank. The ranks are uh, ace, deuce, up through king. So the ranks are 13 possible ranks. Uh, ace is 1, 2, 3, up through 10. And then jack, queen, king is 11, 12, 13. So there are 13 possible ranks. We're going to choose two cards of some rank. That, that's called a pair. Then we're going to choo choose two cards of a different rank, the second rank. And finally, uh, we're going to choose a card of still a third rank. So I get a pair and another pair and, a and another card that does not match the ranks of either of the first two. And that is the definition of a hand that in poker is called two pair. So um, let's take an example. Here's a typical two-pair hand. I've got two kings. They both have rank 13. One is a king of diamonds. The other is a king of hearts. Um, there are four of these suits, so-called diamonds, hearts, spades, clubs. Um, there are two aces, a pair of aces. One is an ace of diamonds. The other is an ace of spades. And finally, they're hanging loose this third rank that doesn't match the kings or the aces, namely a three of clubs. Now, the way that I'm going to propose to count the number of two pair hands is to think about it this way. I'm going to begin by choosing the rank for the first pair. And there are 13 possible ranks that the first pair might have. Once I've fixed the rank for the first pair, the second pair has to have a different rank. So there are 12 ranks left. Um, and once I've picked those two ranks for the, the ranks for the two pairs, then I have the rank of the last card, uh, which is 11 possible choices. Uh, then in addition, once I've chosen the rank of the first pair, the rank of the second pair, and the rank of the loose card, the fifth card, uh, I, uh, I, I select a pair of suits to go for the first pair. So let's say if the first pair I figured out were going to be two aces, which two aces should they be? Well, pick two of the four suits. And there are four choose two ways to choose the suits for the pair of aces. Likewise, there are four choose two ways to choose the two suits for the pair of kings. Um, and finally, there are four possible suits I can choose for the rank of the last card. So that says that um, uh, I might, for example, specify a two pair hand by saying, OK, Let's choose a pair of kings to come first, and a pair of aces to be the second pair, and a three to be the loose card. Let's choose the set of two elements, diamonds and hearts, for the kings, the two elements, diamonds and spades, for the aces, and a club for the three. This sequence of choices specifies exactly the two-pair hand that we illustrated on the previous slide, namely two kings, a diamond, and a hearts, two aces, a diamond, and a spade, and the three of clubs. So uh, I, I can count the number of two pair hands fairly straightforwardly. There were 13 choices for the rank of the first pair, 12 for the second, 11 for the rank of the third card, four choose way to choose the suits of the first pair, four choose, way, choose two ways to choose the suits of the second pa uh, pair, and four ways to choose the suits for the last pair. So this is the total. 13 times 12 times 11 times four choose two twice times four. And that's not right. There's a bug. What's the bug? Well, the problem is that what I've described, and this number on the previous slide, that number, is exactly the set of six tuples consisting of the first card ranks, and the second card ranks, and the last card rank, and the first card suits, and the second card suits, and the last card suit. That is, if it's counting uh, the number of possible ranks for a first choice, the number of possible ranks for a second choice, third, and so on. This set um, this of six things are being counted correctly by the formula on the previous page. The difficulty is that the, the, 
uh, these six, counting these six tuples is not the same as counting the number of two pair hands. We've counted the number of six tuples of this kind correctly, but not the number of two pair hands, because this mapping from six tuples to two pair hands is not a bijection. Namely, if I look at the tuple, the six tuple, choose kings and then aces and a three with these suits and those suits and a final suit for the three, uh, which determines this hand, the king of diamonds, king of hearts, ace of diamonds, ace of spades, three of clubs, there's another six tuple that would also yield the same hand. Namely, uh, what I can do is I'll keep the three of clubs uh, specified, but instead of choosing the kings and their suits and the aces in their suits, I'll choose the aces and their suits and the kings in their suits. So I'm just switching these two entries and those two entries. And if I do that, here's a different six tuple that's specifying the same two pair hand. That is, this tuple is specifying a pair of aces and a pair of kings where the aces have suits, diamond spades, and the kings have, spades, sp uh, have suits, diamond hearts, and the three has suits, clubs. So the bug in our reasoning was that when we were counting and we said there are 13 possible ranks for the first pair and there are 12 possible ranks for the second pair and we were distinguishing the first pair from the second pair, that was a mistake. There isn't any first pair and second pair. There are simply two pairs and there's no way to tell which is first and which is second, which is why we got uh, two different ways from our sextuples of mapping to the same two pair, depending in the sextuple, which ones, I which of the two pair I wanted to list first. So in fact, since either pair might be first, what I get is that this map from six tuples to two pair hands is actually a two to one mapping. It's not a bijection because there's no difference between the first pair and the second pair. Uh, the, there's just a couple of pair. If I do that, then I can fix this formula. Now that I realize that the mapping from these six tuples, which I've counted correctly, to the things I want to count, namely the two pair hands, is two to one, then by the generalized product rule, or by the division rule, all I need to do is divide this number by a half, and that is really the answer of the number of two pair hands.